Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this quick video, I'm going to be showing you a nice feature of GitLab, which is equivalent to a gist on GitHub. This is going to be a snippet in GitLab. So now that we have teams, we have projects, let's take a look at a feature that's really nice. Now in GitHub, this is a gist. However, in GitLab, it's sort of more appropriately named snippets. Now a snippet is really just a snippet of code that you can create and share. So if we click new snippet, after we select snippets in our toolbar, we'll be able to go ahead and create a new snippet. From here, we can just say a our first, first snippet, okay? Now this could be public to the world. And let's go ahead and if we were to give this file a name, like, let's say we give this a file name like hello.js. Okay, now in here, let's go ahead and just console.log, some string that's just going to be hello. Okay, just like that. This is at least, this is the lamest snippet on the planet officially. <laughs> this is not a snippet you're going to want to post somewhere to show off your JavaScript skills. Okay, now we can go ahead and click create snippet. And as you can see, what's great is because we chose to name this hello.js, that it actually get correct syntax highlighting for us. It knows that this is a string, and this is nice. It's not like amazing syntax highlighting, but it's way better than anything uh, that we would have had if we wouldn't have given this a name. So now we can create all sorts of types of snippets that you can go ahead and share. You'll notice that this has an address, and if I were to pass along this address, this snippet being public can be accessed by anyone without even needing to log in. So let's go ahead and open up a new incognito window and paste this in here. Uh, I'm not logged in or anything like that. And I can still see this snippet. Super cool. So this is just about as easy as it gets. There's really nothing to this. We basically have created our snippet. The best way to actually use some real stuff in here, let's go ahead and create a snippet. And we can just have this be test two. This can be public as well. And let's go ahead and grab some actual code. So I'm just gonna fire up Adam, not sublime text. And I'm gonna grab the first thing that I see here that's usable. Okay, so this is some, uh, this is an Android manifest file, so maybe not great. Let's go ahead and actually grab hello.js, okay? We can grab this. This is very basic, hello.js, but a little bit more stuff than in the other one. We can just have this be hello2.js. Now let's go ahead and click create snippet once more. And you'll be able to see we have a bit more here, a bit more syntax highlighting. Obviously it's stumbling a little bit with the JSX stuff, but that's kind of to be expected. Uh, if you wanted to copy this whole thing, you could simply copy it from here, click the copy button, come to your code, and you'll notice I pasted it in, it's the exact same. Or if we wanted to view the raw itself, there's just the raw button here, and that's just the raw text right here. Again, you could do this manually and copy and paste it in. So super cool snippets. They're not crazy. There's nothing amazing about it. You know, notice how we don't have comments or anything like that, but this snippet is something you can share now, or you can keep this private and just have it in your own public repository of snippets, stuff that you're going to use over and over again. Cool. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you'd like to grab the rest of these GitLab videos before they're available on YouTube, you can head to store.leveluptutorials.com and become a Level Up Pro. All Level Up Pros get access to instantly stream all of these early access videos. Super cool. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.